welcome to my channel. Today we are at the beautiful Census Glamping in Portugal and the wind is howling outside but we're all cozy here in one of our beautiful yurts and today's class is just half an hour so short and sweet so everybody can make time and I try to incorporate a little bit of everything so that you know you can leave feeling great and what else can I say other than enjoy and leave a comment below if you have any questions or any requests for future classes and don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and all the reminders as well so for all upcoming videos you know you're going to be notified as well so without further ado let's get started sit comfortably in an upright position with your shoulders back and spine straight Looking forward, slowly raise the arms as you inhale. Slowly exhale as you bring your hands to heart in prayer. Moving into a side stretch, bring your left elbow and forearm down to the ground, reaching up and across with the right arm, feeling a nice deep stretch through the right side of the body. Bring your hands at prayer at your heart center and take a deep breath in as you lift both arms above the head, connecting your palms again. Lower your hands to heart and inhale as you sweep the arms moving across to the other side. Inhale, moving your body back to center and bring your palms together at your heart. Bring your arms above the head and connect the palms and relax the neck back completely as you look above to the ceiling. Deep, slow inhalations, releasing any tension here from the neck. Release and come back to center, opening the legs in front of you in a wide open angle. Take a deep breath in and reach across to the left side. If you cannot touch the foot, that's no problem. Move from the waist and the lower back. Avoid bending through the upper back. Take a few deep breaths here and try to release any tension. Moving back to center, bring your palms to prayer and reach up on an inhalation. As you exhale, you can move across to the right side. Inhale your arms straight above the head and connect the palms. Inhale as you raise your arms up and connect your legs together but keep them straight in front of you and transition now into a forward fold. Again, moving from the lower back, not bending through the upper back. Make sure to always check in with your breathing and make sure that your breathing is deep and slow. We're gonna be shifting position now, coming to the back of our mat and moving into a seat on our ankles, sitting on our heels. Bring your hands to prayer and inhale deeply as you lift your arms above the head. Exhale as you put a nice curve into the spine, reaching back with your arms. Transitioning now into child's pose, taking deep, slow and deliberate breaths. On your next exhalation, prepare to lift up through your spine, pushing up towards the ceiling and pushing out from the hips and shoulders, rolling yourself into an up dog, shoulders back, chest lifted, looking straight ahead and inhale. Exhale as you roll back into child's pose. Take this time to be playful. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, child's pose. 
Inhale, up dog. Exhale, pushing up to a plank. Rock forward, pushing from the toes and come back into your first down dog. Walking out the down dog, lifting one heel after the other, creating some warmth as we prepare to move into our practice. Inhale and exhale as you roll through the spine, opening into plank. Rock forward, pushing from the toes and come back into a downward dog. Inhale and exhale, now rolling out to plank. Rock forward and come back into down dog. Roll out to plank. Rock forward and come back into down dog. Lift your left leg into a three-legged dog, keeping your hips balanced. Connect your left knee to your left elbow and return to plank on an inhalation. Exhale as you slowly lower the body through chaturanga and peel your shoulders up chest out and lift up into your down dog. Inhale through the right leg, three-legged dog, and we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. I'll meet you back in down dog. From down dog, lift your left leg, three-legged dog. Plant your foot in between the hands and gently lower the right knee to the floor as you transition to low lunge, taking deep, slow breaths and giving your body a chance to just gently open. Hands to the ground and transition back to a plank. Lower through your chaturanga, inhaling through your up dog. And exhaling through your down dog. Inhale as you lift through the right side, three-legged dog. Moving through the same sequence on the other side. Again, I'll meet you back in down dog. Inhale, three-legged dog, left side, and planting your foot between your hands at the top of the mat. And this time we're lifting into a high lunge, raising your arms above the head and focus on your deep, slow breathing. Hands to the ground, returning to a plank. Inhale, exhale through your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Inhale the right side, three-legged dog. Repeating the same sequence again on the other side.
Bring your hands back down and, and move to a plank. Take one press up here. This time, flow through your chaturanga. Inhaling to up dog, elbows in. And you can lift your thighs off the ground now for up dog and exhale to down dog. Inhale, left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, connecting knee to left elbow, chest, and then right elbow. Plank, and down dog. Inhale, the right leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, connecting knee to right elbow, chest, and then left elbow, plank, and chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Inhale left leg, three-legged dog. Plant your foot between your hands. Lift your arms and body high into the high lunge. Now bring your right ankle all the way up to the front and rest it upon your left thigh. Palms in prayer at heart center. Slowly shift down, pressing all your weight into your left heel. Focusing now on balance and core strength. Release your right leg as you lift your knee and transition to a warrior three very briefly. Bringing that foot down and returning to high lunge. Hands to the ground, moving back into plank. Exhale through your chaturanga and inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Inhale your right leg, three-legged dog. Transition to a high lunge. We're going to be repeating the same thing on the other side. So bring your left ankle and rest it on your right thigh. Take deep, slow breaths here. Release your leg behind you in the same way as before, transitioning to a high lunge. Hands to the ground, moving to plank. Exhale through your chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale through the left leg, lifting to a three-legged dog. Plant your foot between the hands, moving back into high lunge. Spin that back foot as we transition into a warrior two. Reverse your warrior on the next exhalation. and cartwheel your hands back down to the ground. Release your left leg strong and straight behind you, keeping it lifted as a challenge. Move through your chaturanga, zipping your legs as you go, inhaling to up dog, exhaling to down dog. Inhale as you lift your right leg, three-legged dog. Planting your foot between the hands and transitioning to a high lunge. We're going to be repeating the same sequence on the other side. Transitioning to warrior two. Reverse your warrior. 
cartwheel your hands to the ground. Release your right leg straight behind you and move through your chaturanga, zipping your legs back together. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, le left leg lifts, three-legged dog. And plant your foot between your hands and gently release your right knee to the ground, moving into a low lunge. Take a nice deep hip release here, however that works for you. So play with your movements. Our intention here is to deepen our hip flexors and, and encourage more flexibility. Be gentle and loving with yourself. Maintain a strong connection always with what feels good and immediately back away from what does not feel good. Return your hands to the floor and your legs to plank. Take one press up here if you want to challenge yourself, that is. Then move through your chaturanga, inhaling to up dog and exhaling to down dog. Inhale right leg, three legged dog. Plant your foot between the hands and gently transition into a low lunge. We're doing the same thing again on the other side. We accumulate a lot of suppressed and negative emotions in the hips, so this is a real gift for both body and mind. Returning now to plank and taking that press up if you so wish. And flowing through your chaturanga. I'll meet you back in down dog. We're going to be transitioning now to a wide legged child's pose opening the knees wide and bringing the body down and the forehead to the mat. Deep, slow breaths here. Really try to reconnect with the breath. We're going to be transitioning now to a child's pose, but with our knees together. This is a really nice lower back release. Take a nice deep breath in and transition to a tabletop foundation. Extend your left arm and right leg and inhale, exhale, connecting knee to elbow. Inhale to extend, repeating twice more. Return to your tabletop foundation after a quick child's pose. And we're going to be repeating the other side, left leg, right arm. Inhale, lift. Exhale, connect. Coming out of our tabletop, push back. Take a brief moment here in your child's pose. We're going to be returning now to a downward dog. Inhale, left leg, three legged dog. Sweep the foot between the hands and move back into a high lunge. 
I call for playful movements again as you pulse deeper and stronger and engage more into this high lunge. Straighten your left leg and come forward into a pyramid pose, using your fingertips on the floor for balance. Make sure that you relax your neck. Bending the front leg and returning to high lunge. Hands to the ground for plank and inhale. Exhale through your chaturanga. From downward dog, inhale the right leg lifts, three-legged dog, and repeat the same sequence on the other side. So nice and deep movements from your high lunge, keeping all the muscles engaged. From high lunge, hands to the ground and move through your chaturanga, meeting back in down dog. From down dog, inhale your left leg, three-legged dog. We're going to be transitioning from here to pigeon. So lead with your left knee and gently place it in between your hands at the top of the mat. Allow your upper body to relax on your bent left leg. And inhale deeply. Exhale any tension from the body. Just let it go. I'm going to offer you the option now to take a gentle bind behind your back, which is a very nice chest and shoulder opener. So interlock the fingers behind your back, straighten your arms and take a deep breath in as you open through the chest. Option now to take a further bind, pulling your right foot towards you. Make sure now that you listen to your body and stop when your body is under too much pressure. This should feel good, even if it's a little bit intense. Release now and return to a plank. Move through your chaturanga and again, we'll meet back in down dog. Lifting now through the right leg, three legged dog. And move forward with your right knee and take a pigeon on the other side. It's possible that you notice that one side of your body feels differently than the other. Don't worry, this is completely normal. Regular practice of yoga and you'll see a huge improvement in that way. Inhale, coming back up and taking that bind with your arms behind your back if you wish. And taking that further bind once again on the other side. Don't worry if you can't connect your hands yet. In time with regular practice, this will be no problem for you.
Return now to plank and move through your chaturanga and I'll meet you back in down dog. Inhale as you lift your left leg, three-legged dog. Transitioning now to another high lunge. And transition now into a warrior three, kicking that right leg behind you, keeping your hips balanced. Fingertips to the floor and extend through the right leg as you do a standing splits. Bring both feet together and forward fold. Take a nice playful rag doll here, releasing any tension and allowing for fluid movement. Inhale, flat back. And now we're going to take a playful transition into a yogic squat. So you're going to take a little jump as you move your feet into position and squat down, connecting your hands at heart. Prepare now to roll back and release yourself into a boat posture, shoulders back, spine nice and straight. You can bend your legs here if you would like an easier option. Release to the mat with control. Bring your knees into your chest and embrace, pulling the knees as close as you can, releasing the lower back. Option now to either release or roll back into your boat posture. Cross your ankles in front of you and jump back into a plank. Move through your chaturanga and again I'll meet you in down dog. The right leg now lifts into a three-legged dog. And again transition this to a high lunge. Don't forget to breathe deep and slow. Moving now to warrior three, kicking back your left leg. Hands to the ground and extend the left leg higher into a standing split. Legs together, forward fold. Bind your hands and elbows and again move from side to side in your rag doll, relaxing your neck completely. Flat back inhale and exhale forward fold. Inhale, flat back and transition again into your yogic squat. If you wish, you can open each side of the body from your yogic squat. So, if you'd like to join me, you can slowly bring your right arm to the floor behind you on the right side, left hand to the right knee and enjoy a nice side body release and repeat on the other side. Roll back now into your boat posture again. Engage the core and take some pulses up and down. Never compromise the integrity of your straight and strong spine. And if that's impossible for you, then you're not quite ready for this. So back off, roll back and release, lift both knees into the chest. And release the lower back. Transition now to a happy baby rocking from side to side, or do whatever feels good for you. Lower your legs with control and transition from here into a plow posture, 
being really mindful of your spine as you move. Breathe slowly through your nose. Now, as you release, move from vertebra to vertebra with full control. Keeping your knees together and placing them across to the left side and moving your head to the right side for a, a nice deep spinal stretch. Deep, slow breathing here. Both knees together lift back to centre and down to the other side. And move your gaze to the left side. Bring your bent legs back to centre and put your right ankle on top of your left thigh, taking your left leg from behind and pulling it towards you for a nice deep stretch through the right glute muscle. Keep both feet pointed inward. Now switch to the other side. Take a deep breath in and release your body to the floor. We're gonna move into our final posture, which is Shavasana. Close your eyes and allow yourself to drift. Take this sacred moment to set an intention in your life or for this day. And also take a moment to give gratitude for what you have already been blessed. Thank you so much for joining me and I wish you a beautiful day.